Hello and welcome. Today we are going to see how a boost converter is working. We are explaining it very simply. So this is the boost converter and I have drawn the circuit diagram of the boost converter. It has an input capacitor and an output capacitor. Like that I have drawn that. It is working on this IC which is controlling the switching. I have just I have just drawn a transistor instead of this IC. Now how this circuit is boosting this voltage. Here the input voltage is 10 volts and we want a output voltage of 20 volts. If we directly apply 10 volt to the load, the load there will not be any current through the load and no power will be transferred to the so we have using circuit to increase the voltage why the circuit is not able to power the load because the impedance of this load is high there is a transistor is there when we own this transistor there is the inductor the current will flow through this inductor through the to the negative side when the current is flowing the voltage is 10 volts what is current current means the flow of electrons if these are the electrons and carrying only 10 volts when this current is passing through this inductor the inductor takes of energy from these electrons and store in it as the inductor value increases it takes more energy if we look at this plot this is the time the transistor is on this transistor is on when the transistor is on a current is flowing through this inductor current through an inductor will not be reached to a maximum value immediately the inductor energy is increasing slowly and the magnetic field also created slowly once its magnetic field is created this magnetic field is created due to the flow of this electrons these electrons carries energy and due to this flow of electrons a magnetic field is created now the index does not want to change its magnetic field suddenly now, if we off the switch as we said that the index does not want to change its current suddenly so it wants to maintain its energy here if we are on this transistor if we say that for only 10 microseconds so the on time period is 10 microsecond so the current will reach a particular value in that time we can calculate that value here the inductor value is 100 micro henry and the volt input voltage is 10 volt so we put input voltage as 10 volt and inductor value is 100 micro entry if we calculate that we will get di by dt 10 raised to 5 ampere this is for one second if we allow the current to flow in one second the current will reach to this value this will reach to 10 raised to 5 that means 1 lakh ampere it will reach in one second so but we are on this switch for only 10 microsecond so if we want to calculate that we have to multiply this value with 10 microseconds then that will give 1 ampere so in 10 microsecond the current will reach to 1 ampere the maximum value of the current is 1 ampere here so we can write this value as 1 ampere in 10 microseconds now this is the peak value 1 ampere is the peak value of the current if we want to get the average value as this is a triangle we have to divide this by 2 when we divide by 2 we will get the average value of 0.5 ampere as we said that the input voltage is 10 volt and the current is now average current is 0.5 ampere so the total power will be V into I that means 10 volts into 0.5 ampere is 5 watts of power is stored in this inductor when we off this transistor as 
the inductor has the property that it wants to maintain its current constant or it does not want to change its magnetic field or is the, does not want to change its energy so the energy is created by the inductor through the flow of electrons as we said that through the flow of electron it is created that magnetic field if suddenly that current struck the magnetic field will collapse so if when we off the switch the magnetic field began to collapse and the inductor wants to flow its the same current now it changes its polarity so now the input voltage is 10 volt and the output voltage we want is 20 volt so the inductor has to supply a voltage of 10 volt earlier when the switch is on for 10 microsecond it has received energy from this battery now it has to supply the same 10 volt this can supply for 10 microsecond the same 10 microsecond if this voltage is 15 15 volt the, the voltage we want at the output is 15 volt then the input voltage is already 10 volt then the inductor has to supply only 5 volt so it can supply the current for more time that means it can supply the current for 20 microseconds the switch is off this output 120 volt so the inductor the, the input has only 10 volt so the inductor has to supply the extra volt so the stored energy by the inductor now really now given to these electrons now given to the electrons so the electrons energy increases Early it was 10 volts, now it has increased. Each electron will be given with extra energy. So now the, the current can go through this the, through this load because of the high energy that is given by this inductor which was stored earlier when the switch is on for 10 microsecond. Now when the switch is off, this plus this will give 20 volt now it has high energy so that that it can pass through this load now if we look at the currents if if the load current and the current through the inductor is the same no why because when the switch is on the inductor current only flows through this trans so no current is flowing from input to the output for this time, the current is only passing through the transistor and the inductor, not through this. If we look at the current through the inductor, the inductor current, when the, trans the transistor is on, current is passing through the inductor and when the transistor is off, again the current is flowing through the inductor. So in both types, in the full cycle, the inductor current is Flowing. So the inductor current average, if you take the inductor current average value, this will be high because it is flowing in when the transistor is on or whether the transistor is off, the current through the inductor is flowing. So the inductor current is this high. But what is the output current? The output current is this. That when this transistor is off, then only then current is flowing through this diode through, through through this capacitor and through this load so at this portion only the current is flowing through to the load so the average of that will be very low so this is shown here this has this portion is the load current i zero so this portion is going to the load this triangle portion is going to the capacitor so this is the capacitor voltage charging and this and this should be same this is at the own time the capacitor is giving the charge to the load so this is discharging so it is called as 1 minus minus i0 minus i0 as this is a cons almost a constant current it is flowing out of this capacitor and this is coming into this capacitor this and this will be equal so in short, we can say that when this diode is on, when this transistor is on, the inductor is taking energy from this battery, from the current. There is, the inductor is taking energy from this current and when the switch is off, 
the inductor gives the energy to each electron does not want to change its magnetic field suddenly so by using that property of inductor boost converter is working and as we know that the v0 i0 is equal to v in into i in that means if the in the power coming into the circuit is equal to the power coming out of the circuit v n i n means the power taking from the circuit v v0 i0 means the power used by the output these are equal as we know that for a boost converter boost converter means is it's in increasing the voltage that means here the input voltage is only 10 volt but we want 20 voltages at the output so what it will do it will pass more current through this so the i in will be high the i in current as we said here that the i in will be the load current through the inductor will be high i in current will be high but the i0 current will be low then only this will be equal now what this equation means if we want 20 voltage of output if one more voltage 20 volt here then from this equation we say that the output voltage we want is 20 volt and the input voltage is 10 volt now how we can find the d 1 minus d if we put these values in order to get 20 voltage at the output we have to own this transistor for half time then we will get 20 volt output if we want to calculate the output current then we said that i0 is equal to i n into 1 minus d i0 is equal to i n is 0 0.5 into 1 minus d d we already calculated half that it, it, it 1 minus half means half half into half 0.25 so i0 will be 0.25 so the inductor is doing what the inductor is doing is that when the switch is on inductor takes the energy and when the switch is off inductor gives the energy to the electrons in order to pass through this load or to the capacitor so during the own time the inductor is charged and at the same time the capacitor is also discharging through the load transistor is off the inductor gives the energy to each electron and it, it is able to pass through this load and through this capacitor and the voltage ratings of this diode is when this voltage when the switch is on this point will be at zero and this point is at 20 volt so the diode has a peak inverse voltage of 20 volt and when the switch is off the diode is conducting at that time the voltage at this point is this 10 volt plus this, this 10 volt 20 volt so both the diode and the transistor has to be such 20 voltage how can we calculate the value of the output capacitor we know that the current supplied by the capacitor during the own stage is uh, i0 so i0 is the current that is supplying by the capacitor during the own stage and it is supplying only for this type dts as we said that it is only for the own type when the when this transistor is on this capacitor is supplying i0 d is we have calculated as 1 by 2 half the i0 is 0 0.25 you have calculated it's 0.25 and the time is the total time is this is 10 microsecond and this is also 10 microsecond so the total time is 20 microsecond so the total time is 20 microsecond we want the output voltage as 20 volt if we want only a small change in voltage during this process if we say that we want a 100 times change in 100 times of 20 volt change 100 times of 20 volt means this is 20 volt 100 of 20 volt should only be changed means 0.2 volt the delta v are we calculated at us 0.2 volt so now we will get calculate the output capacitor it is the output 
current is 0.25 the output current is 0.25 ampere dts means the time is 20 my total time is 20 microsecond into d the on time is dts means 10 microsecond the on time is 10 micro 10 into 10 raised to minus 6 and delta v as we calculated as 0.2 0 0.2 give 12.5 microfarad so the capacitor value is 12.5 microfarad this is how a boost converter boosts the voltage